Hi, welcome back. Today we're gonna make cinnamon donut holes. They are so good and they will be one of your favorites, I'm sure. So in front of me are your ingredients. You're going to need um, a tube of biscuits, any kind. I got these at Save a Lot for 99 cents. Some cinnamon, sugar, and some butter. So the first thing you wanna do is take a pie plate, any size really, um, and spray it and then set that aside. Then you're gonna open up your tube of biscuits. You want to preheat your oven to 350 degrees because these are gonna cook for about 20 minutes. So you pop open your tube and you take out all the biscuits and set them on a plate. Now what you wanna do is cut each individual biscuit into four pieces of dough. So you cut it in half, and then you cut the half in half again. So you'll get four pieces. Just to save time, I'll take two together and cut them in half, and then separate them so they don't stay stuck together, and then cut them, cut, cut them in half again. Okay, so you do that for all of the biscuits. Cut them in half, and then cut them in half again. So after you get the biscuits all cut up, you're going to need to melt some butter. So you'll take a half a stick of butter, take the paper off, and put it in a bowl, and pop that in the microwave. About a minute, it takes about a minute for the butter to melt. So once you get your melted butter, you're going to now take your biscuit pieces and those two stuck together. You're going to roll each little piece of dough into a ball and put it in the butter. So again, each piece of biscuit gets rolled into a ball. Now, really doesn't matter. You could roll all the pieces into balls and set them aside or just do them as you go. And they're all different sizes, which is fine. So I usually do about six at a time in the butter. Then what you're gonna do is roll those around so they're all coated in the butter because that's what you're gonna need to have the sugar and cinnamon stick. So then you take sugar and you take a quarter cup of sugar. I usually add a little bit more just so I don't run out because we wanna coat all of the dough balls in the sugar. And then one tablespoon of cinnamon. That was the end of my cinnamon, so I'm just going to finish that up. There was a little extra. And then you mix all that together. So you have a nice light brown mixture of the sugar and the cinnamon. So what you'll do is take the coated dough from the butter and put it into the bowl with the sugar and the cinnamon and then roll them around until they all get, each, every side gets coated. And if you need to, just take your measuring spoon and put some over so all the sides are coated. That looks good. And then you're gonna put them in your pie plate. Okay, then I'm gonna come back to my dough and I'm going to roll six more dough pieces and then coat them in the butter. Roll them around, get a nice coating, pop them in the sugar. Mix them around. 
Make sure they pick up as much cinnamon and sugar as they can. And some of them didn't flip over, so I'm gonna just spoon some of that over on top so that all sides are coated. And then just place them in the pan. Now they're gonna, the dough pieces are gonna be touching each other. And when you're finished, they will all fit in your pie plate nicely. So just to save on time, this is what the finished product will look like. When they're all done, they come out of the oven and they are easy to pull apart and they're a nice treat and you'll love them, I'm sure. Thank you for joining me and I look forward to seeing you again.